the Blue Shirts launched their first attack in only the second minute. Kevin Sheedy marked his return from injury with a free kick which Derek Mountfield should have converted. Just three minutes later, Sheedy went one better, putting Everton ahead with a perfect header. But he had to delay his celebrations after a collision with United's Kevin Moran. Jesper Olsen provided United's only inspiration in attack, but Neville Southall was equal to his swirling cross. Everton went 2-0 up in the 24th minute when Adrian Heath's pace created the opening once again for Sheedy. Eleven minutes later, it was Heath's chance to get on the score sheet for the eighth time this season after a cross by Trevor Stephen. The second half brought no let-up for United's shaky defence, with Arthur Alberston forced to make a desperate goal-line clearance. Everton's relentless surge of attacks was rewarded with another two goals in the last nine minutes. First, Gary Stevens with a powerful drive. Then Graham Sharp, with an arrogant flick of the head, scored his eighth goal in nine games. A miserable afternoon for United, but what price Everton for the championship now? Everton 5, Manchester United 0. And the two over is the northwest most attractive fixture. Within 72 hours, over 90,000 fans turned up. First at Goodison Park, and then at Old Trafford last night, richly anticipating another classic following Everton's 5 0 success in the league. That was a humiliating experience for United, the sort they're not used to. Revenge, however, can be a dangerous motive, and so it proved although United got off to the required start when Brazil diverted Moran's shot almost quicker than the eye could see. But Everton continued to confound those who saw little future for the club less than 12 months ago. Their relentless approach started to irritate United, who are certainly capable of breathtaking football, given the time and space. A reckless challenge by Hogg on Heath gave away a penalty shortly before the interval and it was Sharp who enabled Everton to go in at half-time on level terms. It was a furious cup tie, and yet one which produced very few clear-cut chances. A rare mistake by Mountfield enabled Brazil to find Strachan, and his shot was well saved by Southall. And that was just about United's only chance in the second half. A replay looked likely, but with less than 10 minutes to go, Everton's man of the match Reed chipped forward. It was deflected twice, the second time by Gibman, and with Bailey carelessly off his line, and it went. A cruel blow for Gibman, but no one deserved a bit of luck more than Reed, the key figure behind Everton's transformation. No, I don't think we'd settled um, for a replay at Goodison Park. We always look for goals. It just so happens that we got a little bit of luck, but which is, you know, when you're playing well, you get little breaks like this. But I think their goal was a, um, a break against us. I mean, never would have had the first shot, and I think it's Alan Brazil and gone in. So we just pushed forward, got a little bit of luck, and um, won the game. You've beaten them twice in four days, as we said. What do you yeah. think is the fundamental difference between the two sides? Why have you won two and Manchester United lost two? Um, that is a very difficult question. Uh, I think every soccer expert, you, if you like, will be uh, trying to figure that one out. Basically, I, I put it down to, on the, on, the, on the two days, we've gone out, and I think we've wanted it a little bit more than them. That's no issue.